Hey, so what's uh, what's your name? I drive. What's up guys, it's Nico here with JB and we're bringing you another best and worst movie scenes. The series of that, yes. The series. So, what's our movie this time? Mr. Nico gave in and let us do a Ryan Gosling movie, so we are doing Drive. I had to, he was bugging me. It feels good, it feels great. Thank I figured you. I'd do it early on, right? Because if we do more episodes, I gotta listen to it more, so <laughs> let's just get it over with now, okay? <laughs> So drive. Yeah, so we're gonna do drive. Okay. Let's start best scene. You started. I'm gonna start because it's one of my You're top three favorite movies. All right. My favorite movie scene in Drive is when Standard gets back from jail and they're having his welcome back party in their apartment, and Ryan Gosling's character is sitting in his apartment by himself. And Standard's talking about how he's getting a second chance, and Carrie Mulligan's sitting there kind of like smiling, you know, pretending she's happy. But we the song starts playing and it's alternating back between Ryan and her. And we know that in both of their hearts, they're only thinking about each other. And that is why that is the best scene. And Ryan's in his room just working on a car piece or something. I don't car know. Piece. A piece of a car. Or I whatever. think that's the science. A car piece. I think that's what it's those called are called. A car piece. Something he's working on. I don't know what that circular thing is he's working on, but <laughs> I was always wondering that, but, and you we're know, in his mind, <laughs> in his mind, he is thinking only about her and she's only thinking about him. And that is why that is the best thing. All right. The inner cuts, right? And she's off in the corner. And the music works perfectly. Okay. okay it's okay. a perfect music for the scene. All right. Well, uh, I'm not as big of a fan of this movie as you are. Um, you're, you're a huge fan, huge right? fan. self-proclaimed anyway, but I do have a favorite scene. I don't think it's a bad movie by any means. I like the movie. Uh, but my favorite scene is the elevator sequence uh, towards the end of the movie when Ryan Gosling and um, the heck's her name? Carrie Mulligan. Carrie Mulligan. This guy's in the elevator. Yeah, it's my bad. Uh, Carrie Mulligan are in the elevator, and the and the dude comes in, right? The the thug, the yeah. gangster, whatever he is, and they have this slow mo sequence where it all kind of uh, powers down, the lights dim, and we kind of get this moment, kind of like your moment, where it's like just the two of them like even the thug in the corner dims and it, it's like clearly showing us that it's supposed to be about the two of them and he kind of leans in and he's like come here he gives her a little kiss and then he pushes her off to the side you know gently and he just flips around lights come back on and he starts destroying this dude yep. in the elevator goes a little bit far i think for for my taste like all right well, you've, been, you've been stomping his head for like a good 30 seconds now i think that's enough but the beginning part the way it dims like through film cues through camera work and lighting the lighting's great they nice show thing, us like sure. what's what emotion is supposed to be going down there's no dialogue but i think it translated really well which is some parts I think did not do that in the film where they tried to use like lack of dialogue and just film cues. I don't think translated as well. I think this was the one part where they really hit it on the head. It, it really great. worked solidly. It's a good choice as well. Yeah. Great lighting in that scene and very emotional. Also. Yeah, it was. It yeah. was. And the music comes in. It all works perfectly to build the mood they were going totally. for. Okay. Uh, I don't know how this is going to go, but let's see. What's your worst scene? I don't have a worst scene. I thought a lot about it. I gave it a lot of thought. And I just couldn't come up with one. This guy. The whole movie is amazing. I can't say a worse scene. So I'm going to pass it over to Mr. Scene. Nico. How can you not say a worse scene? Well, okay. If I have to say maybe one I thought was a little out of place was maybe when he was just racing in the race car. I mean, I know that was kind of like him trying to find a legit job or something, but... It's like establishing his his, his work, I guess. He's a yeah. stunt driver. Well, that, no, remember, because they, oh, they yeah. wanted to like, oh, have him do right, the actual right, like, stock right, car yeah, racing. Yeah. When, when when he comes it was like out, a hype dream. Brooks was like, check out this car. Yeah, right? exactly. Okay. That may be just my least favorite, just because I thought it was a okay. little bit, you know, it didn't really flow okay. as well as I Man. thought. But that would be... You're, you're reaching, I can tell. You're really yeah, reaching. That, and it's still like a 7 out of 10 for me. In Dude, that's, that's all right. I, uh, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate Thank you, you, you I try. sacrificing at least one thing for the sake of this video. Uh, <laughs> I, by contrast, do have a worse scene. I have many worse scenes. Uh, so, in fact, I'm just going to stuff them all under one big box of worse scene. And I'm going to call it almost every dialogue scene between Carrie Mulligan and Ryan Gosling. Okay. <laughs> Because here's what I mentioned, the best scene where they finally got the non-dialogue stuff to work, 
but in the, all the other scenes where they're doing the dialogue and there's supposed to be some transfer of information, they're still relying on the, the film cues. And in this case, the camera's not doing anything, the, 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 the background, the location's not doing anything, and the actors aren't doing anything. I'm so gonna, what's translating? Nothing. I'm going to put this out there for you, because I, I respect your opinion. Cut me Ryan, off. I'm sorry. I'm just gotta, you know, I'm, okay, okay, okay. I think Ryan Gosling, his specific skill set is his <laughs> ability to convey nonverbal emotions. And I think that that is what he is giving you in that scene. In those this things. is his. This is his emotion. I'm gonna do it right now. Okay, I've had real good practice at this too. <laughs> That's perfect. You're doing. He's amazing at that. Dude, wow. Dude, I just gave you like ten different emotions. Did you, did you see him? <laughs> right. Give me an A-list job. I could do it too for a movie like that. That was. <laughs> I just did it, dude. You, you copied oh, me. I'm sorry. That's my style. Caught up in the That's moment. my style. All right. So, yeah. what do you guys think? Uh, let us know in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Because I know you should. Um, I know this was a pretty polarizing movie when it came out. There was either the kind of really people loved it or people hated it. I'm actually kind of in the middle, which I know was not a big margin on this movie. There was It was more of the extremes. I'm in the middle. I, I actually, I would, I would lean more towards the positives. I did Good like choice. it. I did like it. It was just some of those dialogue scenes that were lack of dialogue was a bit much for me. That's all. It's very Amazing. thematic and a lot yeah. of stuff and kind of drawn out. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. So um, let us know what you guys think, and we'll appreciate it. We'll talk back. I swear to God, we'll, we'll, we communicate, okay? All right. I try to. You try to. I try to. Like you can see it here. He's not the best, but what I try. You? I'm working on it. <laughs> Where can people find you online, social media? Snapchat. Snapchat me. The dopest ghost, seven. Snapchat, dude. Maybe my MySpace so all is all active. all 13-year-old girl <laughs> viewers. <laughs> don't, I don't want to get in trouble. Really Please don't do that. No. Snapchatting? I mean, that's... that's do my MySpace. I'm sure Tom and me still are out there on MySpace. He's somewhere. got one left friend on there. It's just Tom, right? And uh, I'm at Mr. Nico Series on Twitter. You can hit me up there. You got questions for JB, you can hit me up there. I'll relay them to him. And uh, maybe I'll just, like, give you my password. That's cool. You can, no, that's not going to happen. Put him in Serbian. I'm trying to get fluent, so... That'd be cool. Yeah. I'll, I'll read them. Yeah. If you're, if you're not Serbian, learn Serbian. He Do won't it. answer otherwise. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time, until our next best and worst, we hope you enjoyed. Peace.